update all my students in instrumentation and control laboratory. Today we are going to perform our experiment 2, linear scaling techniques for data acquisition. Now linear scaling is one of the scaling techniques used for data acquisition, used for programming of our controller in the instrumentation and control system so that our controllers will be able to understand uh, the changing in values for specific uh, change in a variable. So in this case, in, our, in this experiment, we are going to focus on the water level of a tank. So we're going to determine voltage or current output of a level transmitter and we're going to apply linear scaling technique. Okay. So this module is already uploaded in our virtual classroom module just with this and just go to our procedure. So for this particular level transmitter, we are talking of a 0 to 100 feet a water column range and a 0 to 10 volt DC output. So meaning for a 0 feet of water uh, level, your output is 0 volts. For a 100 feet uh, water level, your output is 10 volts. So if you have a water level in the tank that's in between 0 and 10, so the, the output voltage should be between 0 and 10 also. Okay? For, a, uh, for a water level between 0 to 100, the output uh, voltage will be 0 to 10, will, will be between 0 and 10. Okay? So using the two-point form, we are going to determine our slope by substituting the values. Our Y will be the value of our uh, water level. Then our X is our uh, direct voltage output of the level transmitter. In which case, we get a slope of 10. After getting the value of 10, we will substitute it in our slope intercept form and solve for B. Uh, by using the maximum and minimum values of X and Y in order to validate the value of B. In this case, this is the offset, offset value. Okay. So, this is now our table. This is uh, your requirements. You complete this table using the slope intercept form, using a formula, and you answer the following questions, and you submit it on or before June 4. So let's now go to our simulation. So we have here our tank. So we will adjust the water level of the tank using this uh, uh, knob here. And let's observe our voltage reading once we raise the level of the water. So as we run the simulation, let us now change the water level. If we so at zero feet of water level, you have zero volt. At one hundred feet, ten volt. So if you have uh, in between zero and one hundred feet of water level, then you will have. Uh, output voltage of the level transmitter between 0 and 10 volts also. So for example, you have 78.5. Your output uh, voltage is 7.8 volts. Okay. So we scroll down here. So we'll have specific uh, the voltage output also decreases as your water level decreases. Okay, so it's directly proportional. At the same time, it's uh, it's linear as as uh, directly proportional in, in the sense that as the water level decreases, your voltage reading decreases. So again, uh, in this simulation, you can see that a water level rises, your voltage reading also rises. So going back to your to your 
experiment module you have to fill this up using the formula here that we have uh, derived here okay so that would be all thank you and good day